Hello again, radio fans. It's Bob in one KPR, and uh, today I wanted to show you a, an adaptation of uh, some of the AM receivers that we've been working on lately. Of course, here the goal is to have the ultimate AM broadcast receiver for uh, the hobby of uh, DXing and uh, trying to hear everything that's out there. That's, uh, from these high-powered commercial broadcasters. Um, last month we did this unit, which is uh, the EBS. It's here on YouTube, the EBS receiver, uh, which is uh, actually right up there on the top of where I want to be. Uh, this is actually fine-tuned with pre-selector, the digital uh, PLL circuit so that the uh, roofing filter uh, in the head end is actually the pre-selector. And it's very sharp, and this is a very, very hot head end receiver. Again, it's on YouTube here. Look for the EBS uh, receiver. Uh, we took this a step farther this time. And this month, um, I went out and I got a bunch of uh, decade switches so that I can have a, a six-channel uh, preset head end. It's basically a, a lot of the same circuitry that's in the EBS. I'm calling this the AMM because it's uh, AM multiple. And basically what happens is you program the 110 kilohertz uh, frequencies for each channel here. On top, I don't know if you can see, there's a little button where you could add 1 megahertz or remove 1 megahertz so that you can have... Uh, uh, well, you know what? Let me try to move this in if I don't make everybody dizzy. Okay. Well, now you can see this is set for 6.0 with no megahertz. That's 600 kilohertz. Here we're at 960 kilohertz. Uh, 770. Uh, up at the top it says 01 because we have the 1 megahertz in, so that's 1010, that's WINS in New York. So that'll give you an idea of how that works. We also have a, a selector knob here. Watch the green LED. Uh, we're selecting the channels that we may be listening to. Alright, let's try to zoom it out again. Hang in there. Alright. Uh, same thing in the front end. We have uh, a voltmeter that measures equivalent microvolts at the antenna. Uh, we have a fail and pass uh, input selection for the uh, antenna. We can shunt the antenna right now. It's indicating I don't have any signal. Um, I'm not sure why, because there should be signal there. Um, Feed into the oh, there it is. I think I probably have the wrong antenna connected. Um, low pass and high pass tone controls, line output for uh, driving the uh, you know, tape recorder, the DAC. Or if you want to put it on the line, you can put it on the line, run it into your computer if, you're, if you collect oldies like I do. And monitor gain, which is the power amp. So I can anticipate some of the major moves or reactions. Federal tax relief for consumers could call and see if you call a loan. Consulting and tax debts reduced by thousands of dollars for your free information. And to so qualify for your reduction. basically what we have is there's the internal speaker. Uh, basically what we have is this thing with multiple channels. The front end is not as tight as this thing. So if you want to do some serious DXing like I do out in uh, oh, KDKA and uh, WLW and uh, WLS and some other things from the East Coast, that's a pretty good haul, you know, six or 800 miles. So uh, that's it. Uh, it's really a labor of love. These, once you get the circuits down and... You don't mind twisting a few knobs now and then. It's a uh, pretty darn good uh, radio. Uh, and I've had a lot of fun with it so far. Anyhow, it's uh, it's going to be on my website, bobsamerica.com. 
bobsamerica.com. I'm Bob in one KPR, and that's my uh, YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you like, and uh, we'll have some more goodies for you soon. In one KPR on YouTube. Thanks again for looking.